the final scene of the Scarface movie, you remember Tony Montana going into a frenzy and shooting like 30 of Sosa's men. We've captured that final scene into what we called Blind Rage Mode. We kind of boiled it all down and we made it a benefit to the player. In Blind Rage Mode, you're invulnerable, you have unlimited ammo, you regenerate your health, and targeting is assisted. In order to build up Blind Rage, we have a system called Balls. In the bottom right corner of the screen, there's a red circle with Tony's silhouette. That's Tony's health meter. And the red kind of goes down as Tony gets shot. But around that, you'll see the silhouette of another little gray circle. That's the balls meter. And as you shoot little hit points that say plus 30 balls, that little gray line fills in with white. You fill the balls meter three different ways. Number one, skilled targeting. If you hit an enemy in the head, you're gonna get a lot more points than if you shoot him in the leg. You also get more points for manual targeting than lock on targeting. And here I'm gonna lock onto this guy by holding L1, and it makes it much easier to target certain body parts. I just don't get as many balls points for killing. You also get bonus balls points by intimidating your victims as they fall dead in front of you. And you do that by hitting the taunt button. The taunt button is a circle button, and that's what you're hitting to talk shit to all these guys as they're dying. The downside to intimidating enemies during combat is that Tony slows his step for a second and he kind of waves his gun around. If you're gonna talk smack to somebody, you really gotta make the point. You gotta like wave your arm. When Tony does that, it takes him out of the game for a second. While he waves his gun as the dude's fallen dead and he's talking smack, that gives the other enemies on screen a chance to shoot you. But sometimes if you taunt an enemy, he'll either go down on his knees and beg for mercy or it'll bring him out of cover. It like infuriates him and so he charges you. But when you're taunting enemies during combat, it's kind of a trade-off. You're either making him go down on his knees and beg for mercy or having him come straight at you and charge you. Those both take them out of their game, but every time you taunt, it takes a half step away, so they can be shooting you. Lastly, you can intimidate cops, gang members, and pedestrians. And so once that whole circle around the health meter turns white, your balls meter is full, and when his balls are full, then you've unlocked the ability for him to flip out on these guys that he's fighting. We're unleashing blind rage mode. Once I hold circle and enable blind rage mode, uh, we go into first person and the screen goes red and it goes kind of shaky. Although you're Tony Montana the whole game, when it goes into first person mode, you're really becoming Tony Montana. We take the term you're seeing red, literally. All sorts of stuff happens for these next 10 seconds. There's four main components to the blind rage mode. Number one, I have infinite ammo. Number two, I'm invincible. Number three, my health regenerates. And number four, which is probably the most important, there's an auto-aim feature where circles appear over the enemies, and as long as I shoot in their general direction, I take them out. When you release your blind rage is very strategic. It can be either offensive or defensive. You use it offensively by walking up to a big group of guys and killing them all in one fell swoop. Now let's say I was near death, but my balls meter was full. I would go use the blind rage to get my health ticking back up. Later in the game, I'm gonna have to do that just to survive. That's really Tony Montana. You're the drug kingpin that just flipped out. That's how you know that you're the OG gangster Tony Montana. So it's kind of like a coke-fueled frenzy. He just took 100 bullets while all these guys are shooting him. He's superhuman at that point. I'm Tony fucking Montana! <laughs>